there hey guys it's me again I mean I don't know I'm gonna say me because I assume that since you're watching this video you know what my name is because it's literally like down there anyways I'm gonna get into this video it's gonna be a makeup tutorial and it is going to be pretty simple natural very natural and pretty and just to make things a little bit more interesting I'm going to pair my look with a bold lip which you do not have to do if you want to keep the look more natural and simple then you can totally just leave it as is but if you want to go a little bit more edgy you can add the bold lip as you can see I've zoomed you in more and now I'm just going to be taking this NYX cheek blush it's like a little tint type of thing and it's in the shade 03 hibiscus so I'm just going to be like, kind of putting that up in my cheeks like that. And it looks crazy now, but we'll be fixing it up in a moment. So now that we've applied this, I'm just going to be massaging it in with my fingers. I've been doing this blush a lot lately and I've been pairing it with a highlighting type of technique so it's been a blush and highlight routine technique thing and I find that it works really well and I don't know I just think it turns out really pretty so I just been liking the end result of it so I thought I would share it with you guys and now we're gonna go in with the elf shimmering facial whip in the shade lilac we're just going to be taking the highlight and putting about a good sized dot on that now that we have our dot i'm just going to dot this on the high points of my cheeks like that and literally this is very pigmented so you really don't need a lot i just start by dabbing it in and then i kind of work my way into rubbing it into my skin. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Medium. I love this concealer. It's pretty much like the best concealer I have aside from NYX Photogenic High Definition. I think that's what it's called. That one's really, really good too. So I'm just going to be dotting this under my eyes like that and I know concealer normally goes before blush and highlight but this is not our final blush and highlight I'm just going to be rubbing that into my eye I know I make weird faces when I do this don't judge we all do it <laughs> And please do not judge me, my nails look terrible, terrible, terrible. And the explanation for my hair being in these two little buns is because I went swimming today after school. If you don't know this, I'm on the swim team at my school and our season has ended, but I decided to go swim with the boys. So that was fun. They have city relays tomorrow. So good luck, boys. I'm pretty sure this video will go up after the event, but good luck anyways. Now I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm taking this e.l.f. brush. It's a flawless concealer brush, I believe. And I'm just going to be setting my concealer under my eyes. I have really bad bags under my eyes, so I might over powder. You don't have to put as much powder on as I do. And if you don't have bags under your eyes, then you are a lucky ducky because you don't even have to put concealer. Now that that's over and done with, we are going to be taking this e.l.f. brush. I think this is a blending brush and L'Oreal True Match um, blush. I don't know what shade this is in. Oh, that's great. There is no shade. It's like numbers. I'm not going to read you the numbers. But it looks very pretty. It looks like that. And just kind of dab it onto my cheeks where I put the stick blush earlier just to kind of set it. And it's a nice subtle flush to the cheeks. It makes them look healthy and everything, but it's not too much. 
following up next, I'm going to be taking my Fergie Take on the Day eyelid primer and it's just like a nude color pretty much. I'm going to be dotting it onto my finger and then from there I'm just going to be putting it onto my eyelids. To be honest, I actually kind of prefer the squeeze tubes better than like doe foot applicators just because I feel like with doe foot applicators you tend to put on too much. And with the little squeeze tubes, you just put a dot on your finger and you know that's enough to make your eyeshadow last all day. Anyways, I'm going to zoom you in so that you guys can see the little eyeshadow look. Now that you're super close, how's it going? Just to start off with, I'm going to be taking the shade Salted Caramel onto my crease with an e.l.f. blending brush. This is the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced and it really does smell like chocolate and it's amazing. It's one of the best palettes that I own. It's one of my favorites too. Now that we are done with the shade Salted Caramel in our crease, we're just going to be taking the shade right next to it which is called Marzipan, and if I'm butchering this name, I am sorry, but Marzipan, and we're just going to sweep that over the lid. Now that we're done with the shade Marzipan, we're just going to be taking salted caramel again and just sweeping that over the crease once more just to make sure that everything is all blended out and smooth. Anyways, now that we're done with the shade salted caramel and marzipan, we're just going to be taking this shade up here which is called Milk Chocolate, and we're going to be creating a fake wing. Now that we've done this wing, we're just going to clean it up with a wet wipe just so that it actually looks like a wing. There we go. Now that we are done with the overall eye, we're just going to be taking the shade which is called White Chocolate. And we're just going to be highlighting the brow bone. Anyways, now to continue, we're going to be taking this Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the shade Chocolate, just to waterline. Now to finish this look, we're going to be taking the Push Up Drama by Maybelline and we're just going to use that for our mascara to coat our lashes. Now since we don't actually have any eyeliner on, this mascara part is pretty crucial to this look. This is the look of the finished eyes. Now that we are done with the eyes, we're going to move on to the last two steps of this makeup look and that would be to finally set the highlight. So to highlight, I'm going to be taking this highlight from Laura Geller in the shade Portofino and French Vanilla. So to highlight, I'm just going to be taking this gold shade 
And I'm just going to be applying that where I put the other highlight, just right on the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going to be taking it onto my temple just to kind of blend it out. Now for the last and final step, I'm going to be taking this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Lax or LAX, I believe it was named after the airport, I think. This is just a beautiful dark brown red berry color. Now, this is not a necessary step to this makeup look, but this is just if you want to go an extra mile and instead of having a simple look, you want to make it more bold and edgy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you recreate this look and you give it a thumbs up if you really like it. I did want to create something that was very simple for those who asked me to, simple and a little bit more natural, but I also wanted to give it a little bit of edge just for some other people that asked me to do something with a bold look. So I kind of combined the best of both worlds. Again, you do not have to wear this look with the bold lip but if you want to of course the choice is yours so thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this video and like subscribe comment below love you guys bye Bye.